Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, you know, we made uh, some videos and we showed you Muslims saying clearly in their videos, and this is even in the West saying that we should beat our wife to teach her how to behave. Uh, and he was saying that you know beating we should not be uh, br you know break her bones etc. Now there is a Muslim he come to our, to the page and he posted uh, supposedly some challenging questions about the Bible, and I will show you how Muslims they play their game. Uh, in here he's talking about the verse where it says you know let your women keep silence in the church, for it's not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to you know okay. So he is saying to you like you know what look. Your women have not even equal, you know, uh, 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 rights in the church. They can't even uh, pray. Man, they can't even uh, be equal to the men inside the church. This is not absolutely not true. The verse in here is saying, "Let them stay silent in the time of the prayer if they are not talking and praying about God. If you are talking and, and praying about God." not only pray you know speak loudly if you are talking about food and cooking and your kids you are not allowed to do that in the church so this is was a teaching for the women you know you are not permitted to do that because some women they go inside the church and they start talking about yesterday work like what you know I visit my sister and she was sick and you know and all of us we knew that's women or most most of them they like to talk it's not something bad this is how they are but the teaching here is telling them this is not allowed in the church. You can do that outside. You can do that in your in your house, in your neighbor house, in the street, inside the church. You are in here just to pray. So this is, was a teaching for the women. But if it's come to pray, you can go right now and search, and you will see that women not only allowed to you know permitted to to uh, to uh, speak in the church, they are teachers of the church. They are leaders of the church. And I will show you some from YouTube. And I'm not going to try to be something I'm not anymore. I am going to find out what God has for me, and I am going to do it with all of my heart. Now, if you go to Matthew 22, 37. First of all, they start out in verse um, 36, asking Jesus, which of the commandments are the most important? Which ones are light, which ones are heavy, they said. So here comes the heavy word from Jesus. Verse 37, he replied, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And by the way, just to throw this out for your consideration, your soul is your mind, your will, your emotions. And so don't ever accuse people of just being emotional in worship because the Bible says you shall love the Lord your God with all of your soul and that means with all of your emotions you don't just get excited at a football game or get excited when you get a new outfit you get excited about God and amazing that I just looked for a women preacher and she is talking about even our topic that you can be emotional in the church and you can express yourself loudly and she's talking about everyone not only men not only women everybody this is how we can prove the lies of Muslims now let us continue with the common uh, topic which is Muslim women she cannot be prophet why a Christian women or a, a, a believer women in Christianity she can be prophet and why before we move to a prophet issue you know we will see in here the Muslims always they will post for you a verse from the Bible saying you know what even the Bible don't treat the women equally with the man saying the husband is the head of the wife the head of the wife in Christianity explained by the same page you are reading from don't ever cut a verse out of contact and say context and say this is what the, the Bible teaching to know what the Bible is saying continue reading the husband is loving is, is the head of the wife how husbands love your wife just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself to her so the man if he is the head of the house it's his duty even not only to love his wife even to give himself to her 
which means you should be willing to sacrifice everything to protect her to uh, 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 to give her your love to do anything even your life even you know you might die for the sake of your family this is the Christian man so the head of the house is not somebody everybody have to sacrifice for him to make him happy as in Islam the women she have to make the husband happy even if she is not who care it's your duty to make him happy you are happy or not he don't care it's you who are you know who made just for sex made for entertainment who care if you are sick or not who care if you can have sex with him or not you have to do it Muhammad he said if a woman she refuse to have sex with her husband <coughs> God and the angels will be cursing her all night and I challenge any Muslim to say this the truth in here you will see the man been ordered to give himself to the women as if the Lord he gave himself to the church but what does that mean too it's mean that God he made women equal to the church no Christian will disrespect the church no Christian will dishimulate you know he will humiliate the church unless you are a Muslim maybe unless you are someone who hates Christianity every Christian he have to respect and appreciate the church so in here he is telling you not only to give yourself to her to give yourself to her as Jesus he gave himself to the church which means she been equal she became equal to the church this is how much respect the women in Christianity should should have if you continue reading you will see <coughs> uh, that the husband they've been ordered to love their own wives as their own bodies do you hate your body this is how much you should love your wife are you going to beat yourself unless you are a madman and you like to have pain in your body I right? like those people we hear about them who cut themselves etc those are mentally sick so the man have to love his wife as he love his own body and you will never harm yourself he who loves his wife love himself look at this so not only you have to love her as you love your, your body you know what if you cannot love your wife it's mean you have a mental problem it's mean you cannot love your, yourself and actually the lady in, 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 in the teaching of the church she was saying that says verse 38 this is the great and the most important principle and the first commandment loving God is the first and most important thing we have to do secondly you shall love your neighbor as you do yourself love your neighbor as you love yourself <laughs> well guess what if you don't love yourself then you're not gonna be able to love anybody else if you don't get along with you, you're not going to get along with anybody else. If you don't have a good relationship with you, you are not going to have a good relationship with the other people in your life. And this is what the Bible was saying. Love your wife as you love yourself. And this goes for everybody around you in Christianity. If you are a Christian, you have to love everybody. Love is the only solution for anything. If we love the poor, we will not see poor. If we love the hungry, he will never be hungry because we will feed him. If we love the sick, he will not feel sad because people around him giving him all what he need.